eternal comeback kid. In March 2008, John McCain clinched enough delegates to embark this on the race for the White House. But his career in the public eye be began decades history, earlier. <laughs> As a pilot with the U.S. Navy, he began combat duty at the age of 30. His time as a prisoner of war in Vietnam won him the status of hero and patriot. However, McCain's military background gave him the reputation of a hawk among his opponents. His support for the Iraq war worked against him when most Americans turned against the conflict. I would rather lose a campaign than lose a war, and I stick by that statement. We will never surrender in Iraq. A strong presence in the Senate, McCain's next goal was the Oval Office. He, he ran for the Republican nomination but lost to George W. Bush. After Bush's re-election in 2004, he ran for and won the Republican nomination in 2008. 44-year-old running mate Sarah Palin was a political novice, chosen to reassure grassroots Republican voters. But things took a turn for the worse only three days after her nomination was announced. News broke of her pregnant, unmarried daughter amid accusations of abuse of power. Let me just say that. McCain and Palin were defeated by the Democratic candidate Barack Obama and his running mate Joe Biden in the 2008 presidential election. McCain was re-elected to a sixth Senate term in 2016. He did not hide his distaste for the latest U.S. president since the early days of Donald Trump's campaign for the White House. This led to regular personal attacks from Trump. Vladimir Putin and any other aggressor that we will not tolerate attacks on our democracy. That's what this bill is all about.